Hey, good morning, everybody. Grab your cup of coffee because here in Southern California this morning, it is cold and windy with a little bit of rain. Hey, it's great to be back with you again. Thank you for spending your morning with me as I get you ready for sport fishing here in Southern California and down in Baja, California. And of course, tell you about any events that we have coming up. And I've got so much to tell you about. As I've been telling you, springtime is a time when we are in transition, going from the wintertime, colder waters into the spring and summertime type of environment. With that springtime comes some winds, and we certainly have that here this morning, which is why I'm envious of you if you're sitting there right now sipping on a hot cup of coffee because I'm freezing out here. Actually, it's not that bad, but you can feel the wind starting to come on, and that's actually going to worsen as the morning goes on. The bright side is, however, as we look into the future, we're going to have some really nice weather here in the week to come down there, Ensenada, and all the way up the coast until you get to the Channel Islands, and that looks still like it could be breezy, but with some great windows of opportunity, and there was some great signal up there that I'm going to tell you about also. All right, let me start you out down there around the Ensenada area, which is 60 miles below the Mexican-American border, down into Ensenada. Man, I'll tell you, that bluefin back on the bite, you know, stop and start. It only tells me, here. here's the overall picture when I look at that tuna down there, when I look at what went on with the Freedom yesterday, when I look at what went on with the Endeavor up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing. You get rid of this wind, you add a few, few degrees in water temperature, and it is going to be game on. I think we're looking down the barrel of a great season here in SoCal. We just need to get conditions to settle down. And once that happens, we've talked about that squid, the biomass moving down from Monterey into the Channel Island area. We're seeing the sea bass here at some of the local islands, Catalina, San Clemente, Santa Barbara Island. That is all really positive for the future. So. I'm sorry I got off on that tangent for a moment. Back to the bluefin tuna, where there was some really good fishing. Uh, a lot of that 25 to 60 pound bluefin fish up over 100 occasionally. Also, New Luan with a buck something on the bluefin tuna over 100. That is nice. Fishing the legend back in yesterday morning with limits of bluefin tuna. Their weather is going to settle down after we get through this little blow, and then we'll get back to normal and I think start really hammering on those fish. Fly line baits are working well. Of course, we love Opsin fluorocarbon. It works so well. Seems like that 25 to 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon working really, really well. Of course, never underestimate the advantage you get when you choose a really good hot bait. I know a lot of you expert anglers, you've heard this enough, but there's new guys and those new guys need to hear that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like choosing a hot bait, how do you do that? You go to the deckhand and you say, could you give me a little tutorial, please, on how to do it? I mean, just generally speaking, the hardest bait to catch in the bait well is the one you want to pin on there. And how do you hook it? That differs also. I would talk to a crew member because sometimes a butt hook bait works best. Sometimes a nose hook bait, collar hook bait. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. And I think we should do a tutorial on that. So we'll do that. But in the meantime, don't be afraid to go to the crew member and say, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Could you please help me? And most of those guys are really, really good about helping out. So some good fishing. The nighttime bite I would give a big plus to down there in San Diego right now. There's been some extraordinary nighttime fishing, fishing those knife jigs. Colt snipers have been red hot. Uh, you know, it's just been really excellent at night. So that is continuing. At the Coronado Islands, it's been stop and start, and certainly this little bit of wind is not going to help that situation. We're going to have a drop in water temp, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. And as I said, I'm going to get back to some really nice weather here shortly. Those yellows have been zooming around all around the islands there, and uh, they're biting the iron at times. They're biting on the bait at times, but we haven't seen any huge numbers. So anywhere from a fish or two to no fish to maybe a dozen yellowtail for the day boats out of San Diego right now but that is subject to change any moment it could really start to rock and roll at any time and if you don't get the yellows they have plenty of right white fish and rockfish all that stuff to help fill the sacks and if you don't think that whitefish are a valuable thing to take home take a look at Jason Lawler's great 
recipe that we put up yesterday. He's an outstanding chef here in Long Beach, California. I'm honored to call him my friend, but man, he puts out some great food and he'll help you transform your catch into a culinary masterpiece. So check that out. Jason did a really great job and we'll have more of those in the very, very near future. All right, let's talk freedom sport fishing. My friend Tino Valentine out at one of the local islands and he got all over it yesterday with some really outstanding fishing 14 yellowtail 10 white sea bass two halibut a sprinkling of barracuda and even a thresher shark i mean what the heck that was a great trip no question about it. really great signal second time tino's pulled a rabbit out of the hat biting on the live squid the fish at times will bite the heavy nothing lighter than the 25 pound option fluorocarbon but you can definitely fish 40 pound and man that was some pretty darn good fishing. I love to see Tino because he, Tino working out there because, as I mentioned before, he's a great entertainer. He's a lot of fun to fish with, but he's such a capable captain and fisherman. So that makes a big difference. And Tino will tell you when you walk on board the Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, he will tell you straight up, we are a team. Let's work together. Let's make this happen. Gary on deck, the rest of the guys on deck, they do such great work so again if you're new just let them know i think my friend martin padilla and brandon Casar are going to jump on there sunday night uh because saturday night is already sold out and they go back to really nice weather after this cold and windy weather here this morning so really nice signal there up and down the coast coastal regions are going to be focusing on sculping a uh, few calico bass, few sand bass, uh, rockfish, that kind of a thing. I say that because of this wind and weather, but we get into some nice weather here, especially on the, along the coast, and I mean all up and down the coast. So you've got a very good shot at a few more barracuda as it's time almost for that to happen. A lot of anchovy around town. You saw David Rosenthal's great video from Catalina Island. David, thanks again. But that was really amazing stuff to see all that anchovy. And Dan Burns here recently provided us with some great stuff. So that also looking pretty darn good. Man, there is not one person on the beach this morning. There's just one crazy guy. Already had somebody call 911 and say, uh, you know, we got a homeless guy on the beach. Can you get rid of him? No, it's me. I'm doing a report. So just calm down for a little bit longer. All right, up there, Ventura Sword Fishing. Whoa, what a great signal that was with Tucker McCombs yesterday. You got to jump in his wheelhouse and see that sonar light up with white sea bass. He had a big halibut, a few sea bass up there. Nice grade, 230 to 50 pound fish. That certainly bodes well. The weather lays down. And I think it's game on up there in the Channel Islands. You know, that place has been the epicenter, the Channel Islands, for the best sea bass fishing we've had here the last several years. That squid moving down into that region is only going to improve that. But the fact that the Freedom is starting to catch fish out of here at San Clemente Island and other areas, I mean, that just bodes well for this whole zone. I think it's going to be good. But up there in Ventura, we are seeing a really good signal. We had it yesterday, and hopefully the weather gives everybody an opportunity, especially Wednesday night when Freeman Adventures will be on board the Endeavor with a bunch of lucky anglers. Can't wait to do that one. It's looking like we have some great possibilities if we get cooperation from other nature and it doesn't blow too much up there on the local scene still some really good rock fishing going on for all the boats up in that neck of the woods uh, there's been that big halibut around town also cobra with some hallies yesterday a uh, local boats california the old matt walsh running out of ventura doing very well on the local scene or along with the island spirit my friend cody rogers so that all still looking really really good and there's been some good bass fishing also out here at our local islands cat and clemente the fury had limits of calico bass so that springtime is really starting to kick into gear right now but with the spring comes this wind and we are cursed with that uh here this morning hopefully It'll lay down. You can see the seas building behind me a little bit. And this is just the beginning of the wind. It's supposed to get worse as we go along. May the 15th, a couple of great things for you to join Friedman Adventures with. I would love to sit down and chat with you. And you can do that at Long Beach Marine Stadium on Sunday, May the 
15th. That's going to be a great day. Uh, we'll be there at Marine Stadium doing a workshop for throwing the iron, learning how to throw the iron. My friend Jeff Yeoman from 540 Slingers Club. If you're serious about throwing the iron, you might want to join the 540 Slingers Club for two reasons. One, they're really good at what they do. And two, they're so open and friendly to teaching new people who want to come into the sport. Jeff will be there. He's bringing a whole bunch of his guys. We're going to have over a dozen instructors there. So if you're a novice, you can go see this instructor. If you're an intermediate, these guys will help see how your mechanics are, help you out there. And if you're a pro, you think you can wing the iron further than anybody else, we've got a casting contest at the very end to see who will be crowned the greatest jig fisherman in the world. Well, maybe not that dramatic, but come on out and see if you can chuck it further than everybody else. And then afterwards, the after party. I mentioned Jason Lawler just a moment ago from Sholb. Sholb. Pronouncing his restaurant sometimes. I don't know why it's so difficult. It's right there. Sholb. It's easy. Am I mispronouncing it, Jason? It's Sholb at Long Beach. We'll be meeting over there at 1130 in the morning. You can grab a cup of coffee, grab a beer, grab a Dodger dog. Who knows what Jason will have on the menu, but it's always fun. Watch a sporting event, and then we'll be talking fishing. We'll be talking about the event that just concluded. You want to talk about our charters. You want to sign up for a charter. Get in on a great raffle. We'll be doing all of that. We'll have the raffle over there at Long Beach Marine Stadium and draw it over at Jason's place. So that's going to be fun, and I can't wait for that. It should be great. All right, uh, two spots left on our Pride trip departing July the 5th. That one's just about sold out. If you want to grab those last two, I highly recommend you send me a text to 657-227-6459. And then after that, we have our fall trips. So if you want info on that, same number, shoot me a text. I'll shoot you the list. And also the Malahini trips. Uh, you have to book that through MalahiniSportFishing.com. We've got three of those trips. You can see it right there. Those are a lot of fun. Fishing with my friend, Bill Wilkerson. I love fishing with Bill. And we've had nothing short of some really outstanding fishing. So here recently, we put up some great new podcasts. I love the sober fishing one with my friend, Greg Spector. Greg is helping alcoholics by going fishing with them. You should check that podcast out. Really a very, very good one. And Jason with the great cooking video that we just put up. And of course, we're just going to keep you up to date with all the very, very latest. So I like what I'm saying. I don't like this win, but I do like the fact that we had multiple areas showing great promise yesterday. San Diego bluefin tuna, Ensenada bluefin tuna, the freedom with a nice day, and up there in the Channel Islands, and all of that just spells really a good year here in SoCal because of the fact that we are doing that in the springtime. The water temperatures are still low. Man, you add some water temp to this, get rid of this wind, and it is going to be game on. Don't forget to check out our albacore forecast as we've got the albacore forecast up for you, broken into three parts. Of course, we've got the common man chiming in, giving his prediction. Then we go to the experts, and then we really sink to an all-time low and get my prediction about albacore again this year. As Tommy Tarr said, Get the eggs ready. I had egg all over my face last year. I hope I don't this year. And make sure everybody hit the like button here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for doing so. And whenever you leave a comment, that also helps move us up the YouTube line as we are growing and growing and growing. All thanks to you. All right, time for my cup of coffee. Actually, I've already had three, but. It's time for me to get out of here. The sun is rising. It's a gorgeous morning. It's a little cold. We'll get through this little weather blip on the radar and move ahead here really, really soon. Take care, my friends. Have a great morning, and thanks for spending time with me. I really appreciate it.